So many people have had the screenshot of their desktop and browser screen sent to them via email with threats that followed and some of them reached out to me on my YouTube channel and asked me what must have gone wrong and I had to make some inquiries from them. I asked some of them why they think they might have been hacked and some said they downloaded crack version of software and some said that they are pretty online safe and they don't just click on any strange links or download any strange stuff but they forgot about that browser extension. Extension are these little baby monsters on the right hand side of your browser that supposedly makes life easier. It helps you automate few tasks and so many other nice stuff. I'm sure you know them. But now this is a huge but. Those browser extensions could easily become a nightmare. Do you know that almost 7 million users have attempted to install malicious browser extensions since 2020 with 70% of those extensions used as adware to target users with advertisements based on their browsing history or searches. There are many ways these browser extensions could be a nightmare. The first one is if you are using a malicious extension, you might say, oh, that's not possible. Um, I think you need to have everything. I guess you don't know how easy it is to create a browser extension. It is even easier to upload and get it approved. That is a video for another time. If this video gets more than 100 likes, I will show you how it is done and exactly how it is created. Now back to the topic, malicious browser extensions. I have seen people download browser extensions to either see who follows them on social media or on Facebook or any other platform. Or some people also download extensions that help them block ads. Hmm. Most of these malicious extensions I've seen and currently the most downloaded file extensions are ad blockers. Everyone hates ads, maybe not everyone. Threat actors or hackers know what you want and they dish it out for free. Screen recording browser extensions is another popular one to record your screen for free. But underground, most of these browser extensions take screenshots of what you do and send it to the creator or the threat actor or what you might know as a hacker. This is how most of the people that reached out to me got their browser screen or their desktop screen sent to them via email. I'm not trying to scare anyone and I'm not bullshitting you either. A simple Google search will clearly expose all these things to you. I would have personally shown you some of these extensions created by people I know and perhaps some that are open source and that have been tagged malicious extensions, but not today. Before you download that next extension, be careful. You really don't need so many extensions and because they are free doesn't mean you randomly and happily download them all. Now, how do you make sure, I mean double sure, that you are installing a safe browser extension or plugin? Identifying a malicious browser extension isn't exactly an easy task, but there are some pointers to follow. Do your research before installing an add-on, a plugin or a browser extension, whatever you might call it. Because an extension is called Zoom Meeting Reminder or Zoom Meeting Recorder extension, doesn't mean it is from Zoom as a company. It doesn't mean Zoom made it or the people that created Zoom are affiliated with that particular software or that particular plugin. It could be bait. Check the reviews from other users and reviews on the web if there are any. Also make sure that particular plugin or that particular browser extension you are using is updated as unupdated plugins or browser extension is another vector for attacks and threat actors love such invites. Now, it is important to make sure that the extensions you install come from official repositories like the Chrome Web Store or the Firefox browser add-ons and not plugins recommended for download on some random website or from a YouTube tutorial channel with no face attached. Threat actors have YouTube channels, just so you know. Listen carefully. I'm not saying all extensions or add-ons or plugins on Chrome Web Store or Firefox are totally safe. Although it gives you some assurance of safety, you need to be careful. Just like Play Store that malicious apps could be uploaded onto, one could also upload malicious extensions if you know how to create one. Be extra careful about unreviewed add-ons and unknown developers. See if you can find anything about the person behind the tool before downloading. Also try to see if the person has in the past created some add-ons and how are the ratings or reviews of those particular add-ons. Check the year when the add-on or the browser extension was created 
and how long has it been in use what are the reviews make sure you go in depth when checking or researching those stuff if you have to input your social media login details or password of any kind before using your browser extension then you need to look twice sorry three times or maybe even more double check the permissions a browser extension is asking for if a translator plugin is requesting camera access during installation then that should be an obvious red flag let me just leave you with some bonus tips here always check that your extensions are updated delete extensions you haven't used in a long while get an antivirus software that does all round scanning with browser plugin scan automation it scans your browser and tabs and notifies you of any recent malicious plugins that have been recorded and one that seems fishy based on the assigned permissions I recommend Sentinel One Agent and some of the other ones I used are also linked in the description. You could go ahead and use them at a discounted rate. Yeah, I guess that is all. Remember, run and rescan all the browser extensions you have so far. Get rid of them if you gave it a second thought when you were downloading or if you felt like, oh, this I'm not sure of this particular plugin or this extension, then it's better you just get rid of it. Is there any plugin you currently use or any browser extension you currently use that you have felt like it's, it's fishy? Just let me know in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. It's really important to share this video to everyone that you know so that they can be aware of this. I will see you in my next video. Remember to stay safe and watch this video which you can see on your screen. Bye guys.